So this used to be Dr. Dre's car. He just let me know about it. Damn. Yeah, if it was Dr. Dre's, you know it had that, man, was this hopping like crazy or what? You know you're in Texas when they got police herding cattle. What's up guys? Woo, man. Ah, here in this cold weather in Houston today. I got the donk right there. It's been raining. I you know, I don't I was I really should have put it in the garage, but it has to go to the alignment shop. We have to put tires on it. I got the old tires off the lack. Well, they're not that old, but the white wall tires off the lack. They're sitting at the shop. It's damn cold. I really don't feel like doing nothing outside today, but man, the, ah, it's going to be even worse supposedly in, uh, later on this week. And we got to go drop off the box also to go get the hydraulics fixed. There's a few things we got to get done. I really want to go to the New Year's uh, Day picnic coming up. Uh, it'd be nice to have the hydraulics working. I hit up Fine Line. He said bring it by. He could he could, he could could try to have it done. But since the donk's on the trailer, uh, we got to do tires and see if we could take it to go get a line. So let's see if we go do that right now. Man, I actually still didn't cleaned out the back of this truck fully. We actually got to unbox a package for the donk actually and let's unload this fender. I don't want to get damaged right there rolling around. All right, let's see what we got here. I think it's for the donk. I'm pretty sure it's for the donk. It's from Summit. Ah! What I tell you, I was from Summit. Oh, it's cold out here. here all right there we go it's like the uh obviously this is like uh for the older style 350s i'm hoping it'll work for our application the thing is uh i didn't want to put headers on it and then i couldn't find no stock dunk manifolds so we got these i think they call these like ram horn style i don't know these these would be coming usually in uh uh like the 60s era's car so i mean i hope they'll work i think they'll work because the manifolds we got on there now are actually blocking the uh uh the dipstick so that's not gonna work hopefully these will work yeah that way we can get exhaust done too so it's cold as fuck i don't want to work out here but i figured why well, put them up if i need to test them anyways and the dude who does the alignments also does exhaust so we might as well maybe knock out two birds with one stone i was gonna head to the shop and uh swap out these tires first and go to the lineman shop but i might as well try to get this uh these uh headers these manifolds on hopefully they work all right pop that uh connecting pipe up off of there i was because i was hoping i could use that and make my own exhaust but it's all right we'll just get full exhaust done it is what it is well if these manifolds work let's pop these uh manifolds out all right pop that one off if y'all can see the problem with this one i don't know if y'all can see the gasket all the holes lined up except we couldn't only get one bolt in the back one you know what let me show you the manifold okay the one the way this one's shaped uh this bolt was not gonna hold it was only holding on this bolt in the back so that was the issue with this one I got this from the 80s box Chevy and this motor is the 70s. So it is a 350 and it bolted up and the, the exhaust uh, holes were the same. But the bolts up was a little bit different. That's why this one on this side didn't work. Now let's try to test fit that uh, ram horn on that hook. Fuck disaster guys. They actually bolt up to the motor nice. They look good too. But look. Ain't no way, boy. They're gonna hit the frame. Yep. See the older cars, the frame's totally different. The X-frame cars and shit. And... Damn, that fucking sucks, dog. That fucking sucks. So I just spent two hundred something dollars on something I can't even use. And now we're back to square one on this uh, 
I really didn't want to get headers, dog. I really did not want to get headers. But it looked like we're going to end up having to get some headers, dog. But the thing is, with headers be having issues and shit, dog. I ain't trying to... I don't care about horsepower. I just want an OG style. I don't even know where the fuck the original manifolds to this car are at. Dang it, boy. All right, back to square one. Just uh, threw away 300 bucks. I mean, I could use them on a later project, but god damn. Fixing to be on the road again. I still don't know what I'm going to do about the uh, manifold header situation. But I already got the tires. Why am I going to wait? It sucks. It's cold. I really didn't want to do nothing. But I need the tires to do alignment. So let me do what I can do and put the damn tires on. One, them holes are bald. Two, those ain't got no white walls. So we got a whole set of white walls that we took off the Cadillac. We're going to slap them on here. So let's go do that. And then that way I also think about what I'm going to do with the headers. Uh, manifold situation All right, y'all we got the donk on tow. We actually headed to the uh, post office first before we hit uh, The shop appreciate y'all orders. That's a little hood classics order uh, Going to Washington the homie uh, Anyways, uh, man, we had to stop though Catch some water burger because you know what I'm saying Texas baby water burger over in and out all day to my Cali folks Hey Water burger all day. Ain't no need for that in and out. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. But uh yeah, let's uh we're gonna creep it slow to the shop and uh we'll click y'all back on when we're messing uh with the tires. Alright, hell yeah, pull up to the shop. Might as well knock out them tires and then there's a lineman shop down the road. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna just go ask see if they can knock it out. Go ahead and try to do it today. They slow at the shop today, so hopefully when it, uh, they help me out, I ain't got to do them by myself. <laughs> y'all remember? Well, I don't know if y'all remember. Y'all go back when I test drove it for the first time, when the brakes locked up on me. <laughs> we already got the front two in. Woo! You know that white wall on the old school. Hey, I know we need rims eventually, but man, this, this, cut, this combo is gonna stay on here for a little bit. Let me hurry up, it's kind of sketchy with the ass in like that. The trailer's passing by, so let me go help him. <laughs> uh, let, don't let him go out of work, let me go help him out. Hey, digging the white walls. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Uh, I want to see if they'll get me in. It's one o'clock. They don't close till five, but he told me to bring it in the morning. I'm glad I went over there real quick in my pops truck to ask him. Uh, so I'm gonna leave the, the car here at the shop and come by tomorrow morning. I did want to try to squeeze in taking the box to homeboy over there, uh, fine line, so he could get started on the hydraulics. But I don't feel like uh, lowering this and putting it back up. And I don't want to risk driving this car over there either. It's down the street, but I might mess up that tire just that like that. Oh well, you know, at least we got the tires on and we talked to the lineman shop. You know what else we could do? We got time. Let's go see if we could try to find some headers in town. So that way I ain't got to order them. I kind of want to uh, drive this whole like ASAP. <laughs> well, no, also the lineman shop, if we find some headers today, I could install them tonight or tomorrow morning. And then them dudes can might as well do my exhaust at the same time. Yeah, I think that's what we can do. Let me, let me, let me uh, uh, unhook this trailer. Here to stink at Dana competition sales, old school place. If y'all from Houston, y'all know. There we go. Hopefully, they got them in stock. Like I said, if they got the headers in stock, I'm gonna buy them right now. If not, I'm gonna order them online because we end up getting the same cheapy headers, anyways. But they make their little money on it. Hey, it is what it is. If I could get it today, we finna uh, cop them. But let's see if they got it in stock. Got that set there, they're in stainless okay. 311. Okay. And then I've got a set of black Flotex, like uh, those ones on that white wall there. The black ones? Yeah. yeah they're 229. 
But those that coating is gonna come off, right? That's just paint. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, gonna come right keep, off. You gotta keep them painted. And then these everything. are 311. 311, 27. They're ceramic. I mean, they're a stainless steel, like this material. It looks like that. Yeah. And they're shorties. Yeah, they look about like that. I mean, that's for an LS. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Obviously, they look. They look. About like that. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. If you got them, I'll take them. That's them. Yeah, this this box right here. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Yeah, these, and if for whatever reason, if I if I dry install them, I can bring them back, right? Yeah, just don't beat them up. You know, yeah, yeah, of course. All your hardware is in there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll take. Uh, well, if you have the hardware and the gaskets, yeah, I'll take we'll, them. We'll put all that in the, hard, in the box with the hardware. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I'll take them. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to swap it out. He's, they're going to give me some uh these off this display motor, man. They're going to be better coated and everything. The ones we pulled out out the box, they're for an LS swap. We ain't got no LS. Maybe in the future. <laughs> man, it's cold, but man, since homeboy wants me to go early to the lineman shop, at 8, I got an appointment. I'm going to see if these headers fit, man. That way, if they do fit, we might be talking about exhaust at the same time. But uh, let me see if they... Let me mock these up real quick. Shoot, they're actually real nice. I didn't want nothing shiny, man. I just wanted black and orange. But, like, hey, they sold me the display. This was going to be cheaper than the non-coated ones. I don't know what we'll do later, man. Right now, man, let's try to slap them on. It's too shiny for this motor, but it is what it is. Came with the hardware too. Oh yeah. Came with some gaskets, the collectors. Woo! Let me pop this uh, manifold off. Hopefully it'll work. Well, I did want to finish today, but man, the old ga the ga the uh, gaskets uh, left some residue, so I ain't got nothing with me to clean it up real nice. I was gonna come back in the morning anyways. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to get that stuck. They weren't out there that long, but it's all right. Let me just mock it up. Hopefully, this one will fit. Tomorrow, we'll clean it up and put the gaskets real nice and everything. Let me mock this hole up real quick. Man, it took me a while to warm up the car, maybe because it was moisture. But before I left, I turned it on. Right now, I let it warm up for a little bit. This homeboy said 8 at the alignment shop. It's 8.30. We'll be all right. Like I said, I want to do the exhaust. Looks like we ain't going to do the exhaust today. But I do want to get the uh, the donk off, have him do the alignment, and then we got to go pick up the box to go drop it off at Fine Line at the hydraulics. So, let's Daddy. see what they say at the alignment shop first. Daddy, why is it? Oh, man, I can't even do right there. You know you're in Texas when they got police herding cattle. <laughs> We had trouble starting it in the morning. Hopefully it starts. We already pulled up to the shop. To the alignment shop. Oh, let's see.
Okay, back at the house. Now time to load the box so we can make that trip to fine line. God, look at that big ass puddle of oil. Yeah, that's one of the reasons it's going too. I need to learn how to, uh, man, I did them way back in the day with my brother. Change them seals on them cylinders. I'm sure I can. I just been too lazy to get up in there and uh, do it. But we're going to redo the trunk. The, actually, the uh, the uh, the tr the rack is kind of broken. It's starting to crack. So we're just going to redo it and fix a few things. And, yep, I still ain't cleaned that mess. I need to get my ass clean. And as a matter of fact, after I go drop it off, that's what I need to do. Not only do I need to have room for the donk, but we actually got a project coming. Not our own project, but we're going to help out a homie with a uh, nice little Cadillac. So I need the space. I don't want to keep his shit outside. Uh, but right now, first things first, let's get this loaded up. Who always nerve-wracking riding, uh, riding, uh, loading that hoe by myself. But I'm getting a little better at it. <laughs> it only fell off twice, right? Oh, once. Y'all only seen it once. It actually fell off twice. <laughs> we weren't recording. Uh, got a tie wrapped. Uh, tie wrapped. Tie strapped. What, not tie strapped. Whatever. Strapped down. I can't even talk. My fat ass over here breathing hard. Whew. Hopefully we ain't got too much traffic. Luckily it ain't that cold today. It's cold, but I'm sweating my ass off because I'm wearing double. Man, I need to take that fifth wheel off. That bitch is loose as fuck. I really should take it off before I go over there, but... I really just, I got to pick up the other car, I don't want to hit hiccups, I got to come all the way back and find lines on the other side of town, so hopefully we don't lose the fifth wheel, that bit loose than the motherfucker. <laughs> Hello, Got the box unloaded, pulled up the fine line. He talking to a customer. Uh, let's see what he got, man. Oh, look at this fix four. Actually, you know what? I seen something else over here. While he talking to him. Oh my God, y'all. Check what he got over here. Boy, I got a clean ass six tray drop. <sighs> look at that setup, boy. Oh, boy, that bitch. Man. Look at all the faucets. Ooh, the Chevy blocks. Gauges, this is nice. High low. Chromed out rack too. Damn. That setup's nice and look at the car. Silver with the gray top, six tray. Ooh, man, this house nice. I really prefer the six trays over the six four. Six four is a little boxy. Both of them cool though. Oh way! Look at the guts, baby blue. All OG with the ooh a little console with a screen. Is that like an iPad? Oh yeah. Damn. Ooh, look at this little the accessories too. Yeah, I don't know too much about the accessories, but I'm sure that one's expensive. This little chrome, little piece. That's clean. Got the knuckle guards and all that. Oh, shit. Damn. LS motor. Billet radiator. Oof. Nah, this is a nasty-ass car right here, y'all. God. With the antennas on that hoe. Like, look at that. The ass end of the uh, six tray is the uh, the plate for the switches. That's tight. The homeboy in Pasadena redid the setup. Yeah. It had power in it. It had, like, I think three pumps, three eight X's, a piston, and all that shit, but he didn't like that. It, it was too much. It was too much. So he, they redid Cali style, right? Yeah, yeah. So they redid the setup. So this used to be Dr. Dre's car. He just let me know about it. Damn. That's crazy. Oh shit. That's crazy. 
Yeah, if it was Dr. Dre's, you know it had that, man, was this hopping like crazy or what? I, I never saw oh, it. Oh, you didn't so, see it. But they told me that they pulled out of it. Yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, he parted it out and had it in the back. I said, let me have this. He's like, yeah. And my brother-in-law just patched it up and we got it working. Hey, batteries. So how do you think it would be good? You said batteries to the side yeah, instead? I'm thinking like we'll run four over there, four over there, and I can run the pumps back here to leave you that room up there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not like I said. I'm not in love with having base, but it, it would be cool if there was some space. I ain't. I on this yeah, one, yeah. I ain't tripping. But yeah, if you could leave some space, that'd be cool. Uh, and then, uh, man, if you could just check everything, you know. Well, you're gonna pull everything out, so yeah, I, I guess everything check everything out. Uh, it's just not. And then I don't like the batteries, like. Yeah, I shifting no, around gonna, this gonna, is not this we yeah, did this i literally like oh, we were trying to go to the park and i fucking just found an angle iron let's slap it on it was not good yeah yeah no i'm gonna make the racks right where they ain't sloppy and i was gonna put uh wood but i'm like man why am i doing all that dog let's yeah. just do it right right like it is what it is yeah and then and then if we leaving the shop uh chopped it up with albert see what all we gonna do to it well he's gonna do i ain't gonna do nothing to it <laughs> man did y'all see Man, that fool had Dr. Dre 63 Impala. He's like, man, that mug's clean. He wanted to show me like the underneath, but he was done already. Uh, man, that's crazy. Uh, Dr. Dre is like an epic lowrider fan. You know, he he brought out that 64 onto the stage and the Chronic tour. All I remember all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think he probably sold it <laughs> because of that divorce. Someone out here owns it now, so it's not Dr. Dre's no more. But uh, Fine Line's gonna try to get us ready for the uh, New Year's picnic. Hopefully he does. If he doesn't, it is what it is. But uh, hey, let's see what else we get into. Hopefully they finish the uh, the the drop today. So let's get back to our side of town. Oh, look at that dolly do the shimmy shimmy shake. I don't like dollies. I used to own a dolly because obviously much cheaper than the trailer. But hell nah, look at that. With no way that motherfucker gonna go everywhere. Got the car from the lime shop. We were chilling at the house, so let's go get the dunk. Uh, the dunk, whatever. <laughs> now I'm worried about the pronunciation. Hey, man, y'all got me worrying about the wrong thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, got the whole crew with me right now. Uh, let's go pick up. Let's go pick up the Caprice. Got baby Pern. I, I asked if they do the headers. They said maybe they didn't want to mess with them. But uh, they said that lineman ain't gonna be no good once I put all the fenders and shit on there. Yep, I don't know what none of that means. <laughs> is loud we need exhaust bad but i asked if they could do the headers they said they, they didn't want to mess with it it's all right uh we gotta throw the headers on there and probably come back hopefully tomorrow see if they do exhaust because i can't be moving around with it being that loud but we got it back on the trailer uh we'll mess with them headers i guess i ain't want to mess with them but we're gonna have to mess with them hopefully they fit if not we're gonna keep looking i guess but that's the next situation he also told me the alignment was it's good, but it ain't gonna be no good. I understood that too. Whenever I put the hood and the fenders and all that, it's gonna lower the car, so the alignment ain't gonna be the same. But I needed to move around the way Frank had put that shit together, man. One wheel was going this way, one wheel was going this way. I couldn't even move it around. So now I can move around, uh, worry about exhaust, and then it had a squeaking, so I'm sure the brakes, they sound like they're locking up like crazy, so I guess we'll check the brakes after that. Ridiculous. Without the motor? Yes. Kind of want to drive it like that. I'm not surprised.
Oh, now I don't want to start. <laughs> First time ever this has been in the garage. At our early house, I just had a carport, never had an enclosed garage. So the first time ever the drop's gonna sleep in the garage. <laughs> Following day, hey, back in the back in the uh hall. In a quarter mile, use the left lane to take the San gotcha, Houston toll gotcha, rail. Hold on. Uh <laughs> we had obviously got the GPS on because uh we're on our way somewhere we don't know. Uh, we're gonna go pick up a ride, a hood classic, uh, for a show. It's gonna be a Cadillac of the Vert Viardi. <laughs> but anyways, we got about a 45 minute drive. I'm sure we're gonna hit traffic. Uh, no need to bore y'all. We'll hit click y'all back on when we pull up over there. Fatness, everybody, boy. We got to stop at that good old Shipley's, boy. Oh, it's a body shop. No wonder. I was like, well, why is that over there? Ooh, Coop Lico right there. All right, we got it cranked up. Uh, it's been parked for a little bit, but man, it's a super clean ride. He actually owns two Cadillacs. Let me show y'all his other Cadillac. Man, he got two drop top Cadillacs, so uh, he got a nice collection going. So we got it cranked up, nice low mileage of Dorado. Got a little dust on it, but woo! Do y'all see that red thing over there? Alright, back up, just give me right there for you. And then you see if I don't hit nothing right there.
We locked and loaded. Uh, I'll get y'all more detailed when we get to the house, but uh, let me strap her up and we'll start heading our way. Oh, heck, someone getting jammed up. Oh, damn, they, something fell off their truck. That's why the, see, sometimes police officers are good. <laughs> All right, some dude was waving at us. Time I look at the tires, I exited the beltway. Uh, I don't feel it jerking or nothing. I can't see the tire. Usually when you get a blowout, you'll feel it start to jerk. The truck seems fine, but we're gonna pull over. If I find somewhere to pull over at. <laughs> yes, abandoned gas station. <laughs> Down with me, man. Let's see what it is. Go that way. Be careful. Let's see what it is. Oh, this. Oh, yes. This is bad. This is very bad. <laughs> hey, man. That's what he was telling me. If this would have caught, man, it would have messed up. I'm glad he told us, hey, there's good people out there in the world. <laughs> Like on the top, it has like colorful. Yeah. It's all trash, and they just put dirt over. That is so pretty. Made it uh, back safe to our side of town. Everything looked good. Okay. We got a little situation. We got a lot of construction, and and uh, it's trash day, so. Let me unload right here and try not to be in people's way. <laughs> Unloaded. You know what? I was going to do a walk around let y'all know what's up with this car. But we're going to do a whole separate video with that. This is actually, uh, we, this is not ours. We're just going to work on it. Do a few things to it. It's actually going to stay in the garage. But y'all know I still got a mess. So let me, uh. Let me focus on that. That way, uh, you know, this car stays inside with the other car. But uh, let me clean up some things. And yeah, I'm going to bring y'all a separate video for this L-Dog right here. <laughs> 